St. Louis, Death Valley, and now Dallas. Why 1,000 years flood suddenly seems so common. Dallas has joined four other U.S. communities that have recently experienced hot and then suddenly much too wet summer. Extreme rainfall hammered the Dallas area's Monday, killing at least one person, requiring hundreds of rescue, and adding the city to a list of communities in the nation that saw precipitation so intense that it was expected just once in a millennium. Some parts of Dallas saw more than 13 inches of precipitation in 12 hours, according to the city's water utility, enough to exceed the market set by the National Oceanic and Atmosphere Administration for a one in 1,000 years precipitation event. Elsewhere, heavy rain left 37 people dead in eastern Kentucky. Closed all roadways in the Death Valley National Parks near the California Nevada border. Forced rescue in suburban St. Louis and sent vehicles into ditches in southern Illinois. Each of these storms has been described as a one in 1,000 years event, meaning that each year there's a 1% chance this could happen based on historical data. But climate researchers say. A warmer atmosphere has juiced the potential for extreme rainfall and damaging flooding. Although it's difficult for scientists to immediately interpret the link between a single weather event or string of event and climate change, human causes warming has rapidly shifted the probability of extremes so much that some of them say these numbers are losing their relevance as benchmark because they are changing so fast. It's very concerning this whole concept of returning period. The one in 1,000 year storm doesn't really hold up anymore. The climate has changed, said Andreas Prain, a research scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado. The rainfall in Dallas nearly set the city's all time record for 24 hours rainfall, with 9.19 inches of rain recorded at Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, s according to the National Weather Service. It was the second most rain recorded during a 24 hour s period in any season or year. Mean precipitation s for airport in August is about 2.18 inches. Rainfall total throughout the metropolitan area were uneven, according to Jennifer Dunn, a Fort Worth based meteorologist with the Weather Service. Hard hit areas saw flash flooding, particularly on roads and concrete infrastructure, not designed for such intense precipitation, Dunn said. Before Monday, northern Texas remained mired in exceptional droughts, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor. We have seen some very high rainfall total that definitely are helping to evaluate some of the ongoing droughts condition, Dunn said. In some area, it's not going to be enough to erase the defects. Each region of the U.S. has its own recipe for heavy rain. Rain said, along the West Coast atmospheric river storm, which d r a w moisture from the tropical Pacific, provides deluge. In the Midwest, Mesoscale's convective system, a collection of thunderstorms that operates as a system, are responsible for the most intense rain. For Dallas on Monday, two sources of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean combined with a slow moving front to produce an inundating rain. No matter where you are, you see the same change. We have higher rainfall intensity now than 50 years ago, Prane said. Adding that it's a trend observed in both weather observation and climate modeling. There are several reasons for the trend. Chief among them, a warmer atmosphere can simply hold more moisture. We have known this for almost 200 years from physics, Prane said. In the future, researcher expects more intense drought, punctuated by severe bursts of precipitation. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.